Let's look at Graph Builder, an interactive MindTap tool that breaks down complex graphs so you can better understand them. You can find Graph Builder within the interactive book, just like you would find a graph in a printed textbook. You can also find Graph Builder in the learning path. When you open a Graph Builder activity for the first time, you'll see the full graph with its accompanying caption. From here, you can view the full graph, see how the graph is built step-by-step, step, or build it yourself. Let's try building a graph step-by-step. Step. Notice the graph and caption text have disappeared in the first step. Don't worry, they'll come back as we step through the graph. You can move through the steps linearly or in any order you like using the step labels at the bottom of the activity or you can move between steps using the arrows to the right and left of the graph. As you move through each step, notice a new caption is added as bolded text. Each new caption corresponds to the change in the graph. If you have trouble reading the captions and following along with the changes to the graph, then try ReadSpeaker. ReadSpeaker reads the bolded text for you as you progress through each step. When you reach the last step, Select the Build Graph Yourself icon. You'll be asked to draw a graph that's similar, but not identical, to the one you just walked through step by step. To draw the graph, you can use a variety of drawing tools in the graphing palette. There's the pencil, point, fill, and the text feature. You can write text horizontally and vertically. You can change the color for each drawing tool by selecting a color from the menu. Need to move something you've drawn? Use the pointer. You can use remove to erase things. You can also undo or redo an action. Or clear the entire graph to start over. When you're done, select the show correct graph button. Then compare your graph to the correct one. If you're still a little confused, just select Full Explanation for more details about how the graph was constructed. Want to modify your graph? No problem. Just select the Try Again button to go back. Or, if you feel good about your graph, select I'm Done, Submit to complete your work in Graph Builder. Graph Builder activities are marked as complete after you submit a completed graph, so make sure you submit completed graphs, especially if your instructor has assigned them. Graphs can be challenging for economics students, and Graph Builder helps you dig into them better. So play around with Graph Builder.